so people are going to be able to spend the entire day here and why wouldn't you want to i mean it has everything that you're looking for for a perfect summer day incredible bird's eye view of everything tucked underneath this beautiful oak tree they worked very very hard to protect it not only protect it but to actually make it an important part of the overall design create this incredible recreational style pond allowing kids to be kids in living water Hey, what's up everybody? Ed the Pond Professor here coming to you from Wisconsin Dells, water park capital of the world. And the Natura project is completed. Looks phenomenal. Loving the overall design and look of this thing. Let's go take a walk around and see how it actually functions and how it's designed. Here is our wetland filter. This is the heart of the system. You can see our snorkel caps located over here, sending all that high velocity water coming down to the bottom. We have that large sedimentation chamber. This is that upflow biological filter. This is gonna help to detoxify the water. I love this cool gnarly stump over here. They have cleaned it up, they power washed it. Looks incredible. Aquatic plants are starting to get established, but literally this was just turned on days ago. Everything is functioning. Let's go take a walk, see what everything is looking like. There's a bunch of kids in here today splashing around, which is awesome. I'm loving this so far. So this is that large beach area which will eventually be filled with seating areas and everything. We do have this incredible seating over here where they did this beautiful deck. I love the way this actually turned out. Remember with this project, hundreds of tons of sand going over everything, a large polypropylene liner going under everything. But instead of using boulders throughout the entire feature, because we had width constraints, because of parking lots, because of existing trees, we had this narrow area to work with. This unit needs a specific distance off of the shoreline. It has to have a specific depth as well. So we had to get to that depth as quickly as possible. So here we have a nice ramp of sand going down and then it drops off into that deeper zone. These deeper edges actually have these concrete blocks in place. I love the design. It makes more of an architectural modern type of a look. We have those blocks down in there and then they did this beautiful deck system going over the top of that. That's opening up a huge seating area for all the visitors that are coming to this incredible facility. We have areas of sand for kids to climb up and down, which is great. Completely different than any other water park that you're gonna see in the Wisconsin Dells area. We have this nice slide area up on the top so kids could take their time. They could kind of slide down this big flume, crashing down into the deeper pocket of water. And then they have that little route that they can go back up to the top. Overall, I love this. It turned out phenomenally. It's not 100% done. They still have a little bit of cleanup work to do. They still have a few details to take care of, but they wanted to get it operational for all the visitors that are gonna be coming to this facility and kind of catch the, the end of the 2021 season. Check out the view from up here. Remember when I was doing excavation here, we hit all of that debris over here in this corner. So all those old bottles and jars and pieces of steel and things from that was just buried in the ground. That was right over here in this intake bay. So we did have some challenges, hit a little bit of groundwater, actually hit bedrock as well. There was an old swimming pool foundation down inside of us. So a bunch of challenges, which we're always finding on all the different products we're involved in. But all of that soil helped to create this massive hill system over here. And this hill has been perfect because it doubles as the start of this incredible slide. So check this out. 
we are up above the 15 feet above the normal elevation and this was created through the excavation of all that soil we still had to haul out soil but we tried to utilize as much of it here on site as possible as well as bringing in all this sand so the project here had several challenges as i was saying earlier we had some space constraints we had to work within overall we wanted to make sure that we maximize the amount of water inside the system while still having all these open areas for kids to run around and play and do other activities other than just being in the water now obviously the water is going to dominate but kids are going to get tired parents are going to kick back they're actually talking about doing food trucks or something along this backside so people are going to be able to spend the entire day here and why wouldn't you want to i mean it has everything that you're looking for for a perfect summer day The pump pre-filter area actually turns into its own incredible water feature. And check this out, we have this beautiful sculpture, we have some really cool logs and stumps in here, as well as some different aquatic plantings, just to kind of increase the overall filtration while still allowing it to do its job as that pre-filter. This was that one unique piece that we had on this project. We had a couple different things that we had to deal with here. One of them was we had to make a connection between the rubber liner, so we have EPDM for the pump intake, and polypropylene liner from the large pond over on this side. Making those transitions are always a challenge. So with this one, there was a precast concrete culvert that was put in place, and we were able to make those bolted connections using a series of termination strips, waterproof sealants, as well as concrete anchors to get that under compression. You've seen us do similar things to this on many different projects. Those incredible glass panels that we installed at Aqualand, as well as George Coralfish 12G project when we redid that project down in his basement. So I know he's really enjoying that. But we're always trying to use similar philosophies and concepts on all of our different projects. Thousand dollars. Look at the Salutations, everybody. We've got Colonel Copapod, Lieutenant Rodefer here. <laughs> we have some exciting news for you coming to you from the Team Aquascape channel. I know you were probably really, really enjoying whatever the heck Ad was saying, but it can't be nearly as entertaining as this. We are giving away not 1000 not 2000 but $5,000 worth of Aquascape product. That's <laughs> what I said. That's a whole Ed Baloo. Hey, you guys want to hear more about this? Follow Team Aquascape. We're going to be putting out more and more information about this, but in the meantime, click on the link below click you know how to do all five thousand bucks in pond product that's all you need to know come over to team aquascape channel find out more let's go check out the little overlook i mean this place is unbelievable incredible bird's eye view of everything tucked underneath this beautiful oak tree they worked very very hard to protect it not only protect it but to actually make it an important part of the overall design and it really utilizes the facility and when we're talking about a transformation before this started literally a parking lot just like that over there so this was a parking lot that came right up to the edge of this tree and then over on the other side there was basketball courts and stuff like that but this has been completely transformed remove all the asphalt dig it out create this incredible recreational style pond allowing kids to be kids in living water 